first of all, I saw people wearing mining hats, hard at work deep within the earth. They were old time miners, tunnelling and picking away at the rock by hand. Darkness was all around them, but the lamps on their heads shone before them, lighting their work surface. Every now and again I could hear blasting further down the tunnel. A rumbling and a shaking would occur, but the miners kept working. They were looking for jewels. At times there was great excitement as a shout went up and all would gather around the precious find. This encouraged them in their toil and they returned to their work with refreshed zeal and expectation for the mother load to manifest. For those who feared the Lord spoke often one to another and the Lord hearkened and heard it and a book of remembrance was written before him for those that feared the Lord and for those that think upon his name. And they shall be mine, said the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels and I will spare them as a man spares his own son that serves him. Malachi 3, 16, 17, Jubilee Bible 2000. As I watched them work, I became aware of a rhythmic sound, unlike the blasting. It was a drumming sound. With every beat of the drum, there was a shaking and a rumbling of the atmosphere. The vision changed, and I was out of the belly of the earth and in a heavenly place. To my great surprise, I saw the father sitting at a drum set, banging the drums. His beat was slow at first, but then picked up. Every note caused a shaking and a rumbling in the heavens. I looked down from this heavenly place and onto the earth below, and I saw volcanoes rumbling and smoking. There was a whole lot of shaking going on, shifting and rumbling in the heavens and in the earth, and the atmosphere was tense and pregnant with expectancy, fear and excitement all mixed in together. Father began to drum faster, and with every clash of his cymbals, a glorious stream was propelled earthward. Then I had a flash vision of army boots, a great company of army boots marching, they were marching in time to Father's drum beats, and the noise of the boots stomping upon the earth as they marched forward was deafening and reverberated through the earth like sonic booms, creating even greater shakings and shiftings. The earth quaked and the heavens quaked and rent. Mountains moved and rocks split. Back in the mines, I saw channels open up, fissures and veins of gold and jewels, the workers shouted and laughed and cried in their excitement and joy as the earth gave up her treasures. But the sound of father's drums only continued to increase and accelerate. The army boots now marched in double time. Volcanoes erupted, spewing forth larval streams of precious gems by the tons. Jewels were deposited on the surface in streams, on beaches, through cracks in the earth, everywhere appearing. At the coalface, the front lines, it wasn't the mother load that manifested, it was the father load. Great heaps of gems of every colour, size and shape tumbled out through the fissures and heaped up in great piles. It was supernatural, the earth birthing the purposes of heaven after long confinement and much groaning. For all creation, gazing eagerly as if with outstretched neck, is waiting and longing to see the manifestation of the sons of God. Romans 8, 22, Weymouth, New Testament. Beloved, do you feel the tension in the atmosphere? Do you feel the pressure building? Do you hear the sounds of Father's drums? The earth is trembling, the heavens reverberating with the Father's beat, his will and purpose to be manifest upon the earth. Do not grow weary of the work. Your labour, sweat and tears shall not be in vain. And when we do what is good, let it not be tedious to us. For there shall be a time when we reap, and that will not be tedious to us. Galatians 6, 9, Aramaic Bible in plain English. We and the saints who have gone before have toiled and some in the darkest of places, labouring to bring forth the precious gems, the souls of individuals. We rejoice when one or few or several are found. It spurs us on to keep toiling in the Great Commission, 
but a harvest is coming that is not just a mother load, but the Father's will. For the earth, the dark places shall bring forth her treasures, and this will not require our toil or sweat, but shall be a supernatural and sovereign move of God that will see a billion souls won into his kingdom. But we have a vital part to play, for that mighty army of marching, stomping boots are ours. We are the Lord's boots on the ground, marching double time to the beat of Father's will and purpose, echoing the heavenly sound and walking it out, running it forth upon the earth. How do these boots release the heavenly sound? They come into agreement with the prayers and intercessions of heaven. They respond only to the Lord of hosts in obedience to his every word and spoken orders. They march in unity, declaring the awesome works and nature of our God through pure worship and release his plans and purposes through prayer and intercession, birthing God's will in the earth. Everywhere these boots march, they take possession and dominion for the kingdom of our Christ through the power of his love and truth. Do not be fearful of the quaking and the shaking, for the Lord will cast down and the Lord will raise up. The nations of the earth will be amazed and astounded. Everything that is not of him shall be burnt up. Kingdoms shall rise and fall. The Lord will do wondrous things in the earth and in the heavens, for he is in control. He rules and reigns. But now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word, yet once more, signifies the removing of those things that are shaken, as of things that are created, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably, with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews 12, 26 to 29. We cannot march to the beat of our own drum. We must be in step with heaven. Our prayers must align with Father's heart. If they do not, then we are opposing God's will and purposes and coming into agreement with the enemy's plans. All that is shakeable will be shaken. All that is wood and hay and stubble, all that which is of the flesh or carnal nature, corruptible, will be burnt up. But what is pure, gold, silver and precious gems shall remain. 1 Corinthians 3.12 Do not focus on the quaking and shaking, for then you will feed fear. But rejoice with expectation for what the shaking shall produce, for the hidden treasures shall be revealed and surface in unexpected places for us to retrieve. And the Lord their God shall save them in that day as the flock of his people, for they shall be as the jewels of a crown, lifted up as an ensign upon his land. For how great is his goodness, and how great is his beauty. Zechariah 9, 16, 17a. The earth is full of spiritual volcanoes that are no longer extinct but have woken, and are rumbling and building in pressure and heat and momentum ready to explode throughout the nations. Our boots marching in unison to the Father's drums will be the catalyst, the match to the fuse, the dynamite detonator that will bring heaven to earth and earth to heaven in an explosion of his glory and transforming power. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, help me to hear the beat of your drum and to march in time with you Strengthen and refresh me, Lord, so that I may run and not be weary. Forgive me for the times of march to the beat of my own drum and opposed your will and purpose, whether intentionally or ignorantly. Burn up the dross within me, Lord, so that all that is gold, silver and precious gems will shine through. Help me to be your boots on the ground. I come into agreement with the prayers and intercessions of heaven. Your will and purpose be done on earth and in me. 
Help me take possession and dominion for your kingdom, Lord, through the power of your love and truth working through me, reflecting your glory like a jewel in your crown. In Jesus' name, amen.